For more on this, Alexis, what's the end game here for Elon Musk? I think we're all trying to figure that out now, including the company's board. I mean, he said during that TED talk yesterday, he believes that Twitter is this de facto town square. He said it is important to American civilization that we have free speech. And he made very clear that his his motivation here is not profit, it's not money, it is democracy and freedom of speech. And he has said that he doesn't want them to police content anymore. If somebody says something uh, that uh, can be construed as hate speech. He doesn't want them banned from the site necessarily. He wants them to have what he's calling a time out. He says that taking the company private could help unlock its potential. And he says then they wouldn't have to answer to advertisers or to shareholders. So the company would have more freedom to protect freedom of speech in his eyes. So what needs to happen to make this deal a reality and how likely is it to happen? I think it's really a long shot and lots of experts uh, uh, seem to agree. You know, he is the wealthiest person in the world, worth more than $274 billion. So uh, you would think it would be easy for him to buy this company, which he's valuing at $43 billion. But time and time again, Musk has said he is cash poor, meaning he doesn't have a lot of cash on hand. A lot of his money is wrapped up in stock options. And uh, so he wouldn't be able to access that money freely. So we'll have to see if the deal can happen at all. Uh, yesterday, the Saudi prince uh, bin, bin uh, Talal said that uh, he's against the deal. He thinks that it would actually undervalue the company. And he's one of the largest shareholders in Twitter. All right. Alexis Christophers, thank you for that. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.